it is Saturday, January 18th, 2020, Big Ride Saturday, and today I am at the fringe of San Diego. I can say that I'm in San Diego, I suppose, but I find myself in Alpine, California, which is about 35 miles uh, east of downtown San Diego. We are in the mountains of, uh, starting to get into the mountains of San Diego. Uh, on a chilly winter day, we're at about 1,800 feet. This place will actually get a dusting of snow. But today is a nippy, but it looks like it will be a spectacular day to do this ride. We're going to go out with Sue today. It is going to be a short mileage ride at only 20 miles, but we're going to do some climbing. We're going to do over 2,000 feet of climbing, which uh, I only do about once every three months on average. This will only be my 13th ride where I've cleared 2,000 feet. So for me, that's a, that's a big ride, hence the big ride Saturday. Speaking of facts, uh, this turns out that another record will be broken today. So this will be my fourth January that I've been riding my go. And today we'll break the record for the most active January that I have had so far. So today will be my eighth ride. Today is the 18th, so I'm doing very well. My previous best was three years ago, and I did seven rides in January. Last year, I didn't even have my first ride until tomorrow. So I am way ahead of the curve already. So I'm stoked about that. And is there anything else to say? No, it is just a cloudless day. It is 52 degrees. We'll get started here in less than half an hour. And I am sort of looking forward to it. Once again, another ride in a place I have never been. I think I've gotten off the freeway right here Maybe I've seen it because this is on the way to, well, actually, I don't even know. Oh, because it's on the way to Kuimaka Mountain, which I've been to several times. And so it's like, oh, yeah, there's Alpine. But, uh, yeah, this is another ride of a place I haven't been. So just wait for Sue. Let's pack it up and get ready. Oh, there is one more thing. See, I knew there was one more thing. Today I will be wearing my new hydration pack. So hopefully that goes really well and it won't be a problem today in terms of heat because it's so cool. Um, but I've loaded it down with three water bottles worth of, uh, worth of liquid and that's a good thing for today because we're in the back country now and there's just no place to really fill up uh, maybe an occasional I don't even know what we're going to find um, out there. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that and seeing how that works out. Perfect, perfect opportunity to give it, give it a try because I will be sucking down a little bit of water even though it is cool out. So, yeah, I think that was it. I'm sure there was one more thing, but that's it for now. So, let's go. Okay, first hill done, it's right to start the ride. You get three quarters of a mile and a mild uphill and then it's two miles of 12% most of the way, 700 feet. That was beast. You okay? Yeah, I'm, that was a tough one. I had to stop eh, four times, maybe five. That was reminiscent of the Giro. <laughs> except there was a place on the side of the road to stop. Sue, of course, made it up in one, one fell swoop. So that was the super painful part. Now we got 10 miles of downhill, so. That's the fun part. That'll be the nice part. But we did it. And the temperature is probably about 60. 66.2. Is it 66? It's probably not 66, but it's, so? it's probably about 60, 62, because you're in the sun, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was a beast of a ride, too. So, we came down what seemed like an endless, bottomless pit to Harbison Canyon. It was miles. Of course, if you're going down, you gotta come back up. So I just hit half of the up, four miles and 800 feet or something, bunch of 8%. 
That was, that was pretty brutal. All right, keep moving. Sure, why not record? All right, I've got half a mile left on the final climb, so says Garmin. And, whew, I'm wasted. It's, uh, it's been quite an effort. I've had to stop numerous times out here. It's just a constant four to six percent coming up here. And it's probably only about 65 and I am dripping. So, yeah, what a good effort for January. I'm thinking I really don't want to come back here in August because this climb would be about 90 degrees in August. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. So we'll see how that runs. All right, let's see if we can finish this out. Right. I'm dying. So I, I had a half mile left. Went fifteenth of a mile, had to stop. Went a seventh, point zero seventh of a mile, had to stop. Went another. It's like, oh, and then it finally, I stopped one more time and said, oh yeah, you got two hundred thirteen feet before your route ends. I could see Sue off to the side of the street. I can't make it. I'm stopped here, I'm taking a breath. I'm dripping. And I look over. And there's the finish line. It's going to take everything I've got just to make it that far in one swoop. I am wasted. Wasted! Alright. Let's see if we can do this. I made it. My arms are so tired. They hurt so bad. That's the problem with climbing. I lean far and far and I, my arms hurt a lot. Sue said she... She didn't like the climb either. Yay. So, what's our total here? 21.7 miles and uh, okay, almost 2,200 feet of climbing. Yay, us. Yay, we did it. That was the hard part, the last part. I need that. Yeah. Let's go.